Hey makeup friends, today we are going to be testing out three different concealers from Tarte and doing like a battle of the Tarte concealers. Let's get into this. As always, I want to welcome you back to my channel, or if you are new, then hello and welcome. My name is Kara, and on my channel, we like to mix beauty, brains, and the occasional F-bomb. Now, full disclosure, I am filming this intro about two weeks after I finished filming the last of the concealers, uh, because I forgot to film an intro. The there, there it is. So, uh, I will say one of these concealers I've actually returned to Sephora. I think you'll be able to figure out which one it is just in watching what's about to follow, but nevertheless, let's just jump straight into it. All right, so up first in this battle of the Tarte concealers, we're gonna take a look at the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This is one that I haven't tried before, but I did see a very positive review of it by Hot and Flashy, so I do wanna put it to the test. I have some high expectations, but we'll see how we get on with it. And what I will say is currently under my eyes, I've only used this product here. So this is from Innisfree and it's the Intensive Hydrating Eye Roll-On with Green Tea Seed. And that's just to help with a little bit of additional moisturization under there. That has had a chance to sink in now, so nothing's wet, nothing's tacky. I don't have any primer, any foundation, anything else on. Otherwise from skincare, it is barefaced so that we have a nice clean canvas for the concealer. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this. And in my first concealer review, what I did was I did it over two days. On one day, I applied with a sponge and with a makeup brush and didn't set it with powder. On the second day, I did the same application but applied powder. I think for this purpose, especially because I'm testing out three different concealers, I'm going to apply both of them with a brush. That is my preferred method. And I am going to set one eye with powder and leave the other one unset so that we can really see what the difference is from eye to eye. So it claims that you only need one dot of this product. I do have quite the dark circles going on, so I'm going to put some here and up into this area as well. My eyes are very deep set, so I do get a lot of shadowing in this area in here. We'll go in with the one dot and we'll see if we need to build up from there. So I'm just gonna apply a little dot there and one in here. Okay, so the brush that I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the same brush for both sides. This is from Nude by Nature, and it is the, oh God, I hate when they put black lettering on black material. Like, why would you do that? What the hell is this thing called? Also, it's upside down. This is the number 12 pointed precision brush. And the reason that I like this one is because it's pointed and precise. Like I was saying, very deep set eyes, so a lot of rounded brushes just don't really fit in there. I have a hard time getting a sponge in there, and so I either rely on my finger or the brush, but this brush fits in nicely. It says that this is a vegan, full coverage, creamy under eye concealer with 30 shades and a new applicator that's totally foolproof. You don't need a lot, just one dot. It has a radiant finish, it's full coverage, liquid formula, and it's good for all skin types. The concealer claims to have a waterproof formula that won't crease or sit in fine lines. And again, powered by vitamin C rich maracuja for brighter, firmer, and smoother looking skin. All right, so before I blend this one out, we can still see what that shadowing naturally looks like. And then over here with the concealer, I find that it does have really good coverage. I never really completely cancel out all of the darkness unless I go in with like a peach color corrector beforehand. I just haven't met a concealer yet that can really cancel all of it out, but this is giving some very good coverage and I'm quite happy with that, especially with just such a small amount of product. So I'm impressed initially with how much coverage there is. Let's go ahead and blend this one out. That's impressive. That is impressive. That is definitely living up to those high coverage claims. I'm enjoying that an awful lot. But let's turn the lights down. I'll come in close and we'll take a look at how it's sitting upon initial application. Then I'll go ahead and apply some powder to one side. 
All right, so I'm about as close as I can get and still be in focus. I have turned my ring light down as low as it will go. And I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to see. I've ordered a new lens and I'm very excited about it. It's going to be very close up, but that's gonna help with these kind of reviews. But for now, we're working with what we've got. So let's see, can I get closer? Oh, I can. Ooh, focus, focus, keep going. Yeah, boy. All right, so. I haven't used any powder yet, so this is just initial application, but it's blended out really nicely. And if I pull gently on those like little creases under there, there's a little bit of product caught up on this side. Now I will take some of the responsibility for that because as you saw, I did apply the dots to both sides and then I like yammered for ages. So this one might have had a chance to just dry down just a little bit so that might be part of the problem but oh and also you can see just where my fingers are touching i expect that using powder is going to make a tr like make a big difference on this one but this eye is looking really good this one just has a little bit caught up in those creases there and a little bit of indentations showing from my fingers and my nails so I think powder is going to make the difference. So I'm just going to do a little bit of additional blending. I haven't added any more product, but I just want to smooth those under eyes out a little bit. And then this is the eye that I'm going to apply the powder to. And the powder that I'm going to use is from Laura Mercier. And this is the Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. It's just a really nice translucent powder. It looks stark white in the package, but it doesn't produce any sort of white cast or anything of that sort on the eyes. So I'm just going to pick up a very little bit of that. And the brush that I'm using is the 788 BDHD Phase 3 brush from Delium Tools. It's just a nice little beveled edge here. I find that it just fits in really nicely. I'm just going to tap off the excess. really pressing that powder in there not harsh but just pressing the product in place to really help set that concealer under there and really help to like blur out those finer lines that are going on under the eyes all right so with the addition of the powder you can see things are just looking a little bit more smooth under there products no longer trapped in those little creases that I've got Still looks good over here and overall the finish, like it says that it has a radiant finish, but I don't find that it's like super glowy or anything of that sort. So even like between the powder and the non-powdered side, I don't think it looks off. Like this one's not super matte and this one's like super radiant or anything of that sort. It's fairly natural on both sides. So I'm happy about that, but we will see how it wears and I will come back in five hours to give an update then. Um, I want to see um, what color these are. They're all the colors. Look at all those lipsticks. Do you see yourself on the camera? Mm -hmm. Can you say hi? Hi. Do you know that there's a lot of people watching? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you tired? Um, is there, um, is that a camp site mm -hmm. on the, on your computer? That's right. That's a tent. Um, can I please have some of the lip balm and on my lips. Do you want to wear a blue lip gloss? Where's the lip gloss? This one right here. You want me to yeah. put that on you? I, can I see what color it is, is inside? It's blue! What? You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> on some red now. Oh, you want to mix your colors, do you? Uh-huh. Yeah, why well, you got dirt on your face? Did you my have mama. fun at camp today? The more fun you have, the dirtier you get, huh? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> you ready? Okay, okay, okay. I'll come to you. Don't move your head. There. <laughs> the giggle. Oh my goodness, the giggle's killing me. You are such a sweet la, la, boy. La, 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 la. You know what we gotta do though? Mm -hmm. Gotta have a little kiss. Thank you. Now you have. Ah, you have. You have 
brown teeth. I have brown teeth. I yeah. don't have brown teeth. Oh, yeah. you look at the mirror. Rude little monkey. What are, what are you talking it's about? It's gold. I have gold teeth? <laughs> what? Am I a rapper? He's the most precious thing ever. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I think he likes makeup more than I do, to be honest. He is so cute. I'm so lucky. I am such a lucky, lucky person. I truly am. Okay, we are here to do a five and a half hour check-in at this point. So let's get up close and personal, turn the light down and see what we're working with. I'm not seeing any collection in the little creases that I've got. So if I just, there. If I pull it down there, I'm not seeing anything gathering or in here either. I think the coverage is still holding up. Now when I look in the mirror, even like at 10 times magnification, I'm really not seeing much of a difference between the two sides. I think, I think the coverage on the side that was set with powder is holding up just a little bit better than the one without. When I look in the viewfinder, I can't really see it because I'm facing a light, but it's a little bit more indirect when I turn my head. It's pretty slight. I think the powdered side just looks a tiny little bit drier as well. But again, we're talking like very minute differences. Like if I flip it over to the regular magnification, I can't even see that difference. All right, so I mean, five hours in, holding up really well. I'm really impressed with this. Again, it isn't gathering into those creases and it hasn't just completely disappeared. So these things are all very good, but we'll see what the next five hours holds. I do find makeup usually holds up pretty well for the first half of the day, but it's the second half. That's where the problems typically lie. So we will see in about five hours time how things are looking then. So I'll be back then. All right, so here we are. It's the end of the night. It's been about 11 hours since I applied the concealer and I think we've got another winner on our hands. I really like how this is held up throughout the day. I have my magnified mirror right beside me here and in looking at it, definitely the coverage has worn away, but there is still some remaining, which I really appreciate. And again, there's nothing creased into those lines under my eyes. So there we have it and it's really not looking bad at all. I mean, up close, obviously you can see more signs of wear than you would if I was a respectable distance away, but even at this distance, like it really doesn't look bad under there at all. I think the side that had the powder applied to it does look just a little bit drier than the other side. I don't have particularly dry skin, but I am normal, leaning a little bit more towards the dry side. So. The fact that there was a powder there and it has shown up to be a little bit more dry is not really surprising to me. But again, if I back up, you can't see that difference. It's only when you're really close to it. So overall, I am very impressed with this concealer. This one's definitely a winner for me. Hello for day two. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the C Hydra Sealer Concealer. So I made a little mistake when I ordered this. I meant to order 20S Light Sand, which has like that same yellow undertone as the concealer yesterday and the one I'm going to test out tomorrow. And instead I ordered 20B, which is light beige. So it has a little bit more pinkiness in it. I'm hoping that it's not gonna to be too noticeable against my skin tone, but regardless, if it looks a little off in the color, that's why, but it's not gonna take away from how long it wears and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and apply this. Now this one doesn't say anything about like one dot will do you. So I am going to apply just a tiny little bit more out here. I'm gonna use the same brush as I did yesterday. This again is from Nude by Nature. And I have that same um, eye cream on already and it's had a chance to sink in as well. But I'm gonna learn from yesterday and I'm just gonna take it one eye at a time so that the other one doesn't have a chance to sort of dry down a little bit before I start blending it. I don't have great expectations for this one simply because it has medium coverage and I prefer more coverage, 
We'll see how it wears, but I typically would not personally buy a medium or any sort of light coverage concealer. So there it is blended out. I'm just taking a look at the mirror. I think it does help to sort of even things out a little bit under there. And the color is definitely not too strongly pink, so that's good. I think you can definitely see that there is some coverage, but I can see a lot of the shadowing still under this area right in here. I'm tempted to go in and add just a little bit more just to build that coverage up. I am going to do that. I am gonna do that just to get a little bit more coverage because I actually do have some place to be today. And I want to feel my best. I will say it blends out really nicely. I'm not having to really work at that. So I really like that aspect of it. And the coverage isn't terrible. Like looking at the, the viewfinder, it's really not terrible. It's definitely noticeable. You can see how much of an improvement there is. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And then once again, we're going to just apply powder here, leave this one alone and see how it wears throughout the day. All right, so there we have it upon initial application. This side has no powder, this side does. And I think the powder just helps to blur things out a little bit and take some of that radiance from the finish away. But overall, like initial application is good. It's not camped out in the like little fine lines under there, but we'll see how it holds up. So I'll check back in about five hours and we'll see what we're working with at that point. All right, so I've just finished my makeup and it's taken about like 15, 20 minutes to do that. And I'm noticing some serious creasing already on both sides. So let's just take a quick look. All right, so again, this is the eye that has the powder under it. And you can see the product trapped in those lines there. And then over here, there's no powder. But again, actually slightly worse, there's that creasing going on. So definitely not a creaseless concealer, that's for sure. I'm a little worried about how this is going to look in a few hours time. Uh, not happy with that. All right, so we're about five and a half hours into the day. This concealer is not holding up. Let me show you. So there is under the eye with the powder. You can see just how much it's caked up into the fine lines. Likewise on the side that didn't have any powder. Now this eye doesn't have as many wrinkles going on as this one does just in general. So it's not quite as obvious, but you can see it in that big crease here. And then it's also in just these really fine ones down here as well. Hmm. So little disappointed with how it's doing and I have no hope that five more hours from now it's gonna be looking any better, so. I'm going to resist the urge to touch it up. I would love to just smooth all of that out, but I'm not going to because we want to see exactly how this wears. So I'll see you at the end of the day. All right, we have now made it 12 hours with this concealer. So let's take a look and see how it's holding up. I would say that the coverage is pretty much all gone at this point on both sides. Like it just has kind of evaporated. And then you can really see all like in those little creases under there and then over here as well. This one I don't find quite as bad, but I think that might also just be because the product has disappeared. Like <laughs> it's not there anymore. So this is not a concealer that I can see myself reaching for again. And it's not one that I would ever buy the full size of. It just doesn't work for me and I need a little bit more longevity, definitely less creasing. This one was not my favorite. All right, here we are, day three on this Battle of the Tarte Concealers, and that brings us to Shape Tape. So let's go ahead and apply it. Before we do that, I do just want to address the fact that I do have a little bit of staining going on in my eyes today. I wore the NYX Festival palette yesterday. Barry and I had a date night, which was lovely, uh, but I wore that. And so there is a little bit of purple staining just along like that lash line area. I have tried to clean it up the best I can, but I don't wanna like sit there and scrub too aggressively at it. I don't think it's gonna affect anything because it is pretty close to the actual lash line, but just wanted to address that. At any rate, I've gone ahead and I've applied the Innisfree 
eye cream. I've let that sink in, so we're ready to go ahead with the concealer. The Shape Tape Concealer is a full coverage formula which delivers up to 16 hours of flawless wear, smoothing and brightening for lifted looking eyes. The crease proof formula utilizes quote unquote tape technology to blur the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles without caking or settling. The highlighted ingredients are shea butter, which helps retain skin's visible elasticity, mango butter to moisturize and condition, and licorice root, which visibly brightens skin and color corrects. So there we can see the level of coverage that it provides, and it does claim to be a full coverage concealer, and I would agree with that. I think that it has wiped out most of the dark circling under my eyes. Again, I don't ever expect a concealer to completely obliterate it unless I go in with a color corrector first. I've just never encountered a concealer that completely erases the signs of circles under my eyes. But this one's pretty good. It is brightening and yet it is blending in nicely with the rest of my skin so that it's not just like this spotlight right here and then it looks really obvious against the rest of my skin. I, I'm impressed with the amount of coverage on this one, I will say, and it blends out really quickly as well, so I do like that. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on this eye. I'm going to set this eye with powder, leave this one blank. You know the drill. I'll come in up close and we'll take a look at how it's at first applying. All right, so here we are. Now it claims to be a creaseless concealer, but I have to disagree with that claim. It's only been a few minutes, but it's already settling into the fine lines on the side that's not set with powder. So I'm going to get as close as I can. Focus. So you see that line right here. If I just gently pull it down, you can see that product already starting to pool in that crease. And then if you look at the side that has the powder on it, none of that creasing is happening. So this is one that definitely benefits from being set with some powder as well. This side is really smooth. There's no stickiness to it at all. Whereas the unset side, I can definitely feel that tackiness of the product. So I would definitely recommend powder on this one. I mean, we're going to see how it wears throughout the day, but initially I'm liking the look of this side a lot better than this one. All right. So I didn't actually get to do a five hour check-in. So we're now at 10 hours, just life got in the way today and I didn't have an opportunity to do it. But at any rate, 10 hours and somehow this concealer looks better than it did this morning. I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked. So powder side holding up so well, like there's still coverage going on there. It doesn't look dried out, crepey, anything of that sort, but also side that wasn't powdered still looking good. I, it looks better than it did upon initial application. Like that creasing that was going on in that like Mariana's trench of a line over here, it, it seems to have resolved itself somehow. I don't understand it. I mean, I'm, I'll take it, but I don't understand it because I did not do anything to touch it up and somehow it's improved. Like I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. Uh, and I still think it looks good. Like from here, even like the coverage is still there on both sides in the viewfinder. It looks like I can see the makeup, but when I have my magnified mirror here, I, what the hell is going on? It's not makeup. Like it's not, I can focus, focus. You have one job. There we go. Like it's, it's not actually makeup. Like when I look in the magnified mirror, if there was makeup in there, I'd be able to see it. And it's not, maybe a tiny little bit. Maybe I shouldn't say there's none, but like nobody would actually be able to see that. Like even from here, I can't see it. And I know what I'm looking for. It's like a minuscule amount. It's nowhere near what was in there this morning. So I'm just, I'm kind of shocked, a little bit shook. I don't use that word, but here we are. Who the hell knew shape tape so good? Huh? Well, there you have it. Now that I've had a chance to test these three concealers out, I think it just makes sense for me to rank them. And Shape Tape has given me some serious pause. Like I really had to think about the creaseless concealer versus the Shape Tape. 
but I am going to give first place to the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer because this one didn't crease at all. Whether I set it with powder, didn't set it, it held up beautifully throughout the day. I am really impressed with this one. I'd never tried it before. This one, I am really impressed with. I really like this one, but Shape Tape is a close second. I, I mean, I've gone through a full size of this before, but I, I don't know, maybe I just, like, that was a long time ago, so I wasn't really paying that much attention to it, but I'm actually really impressed with this. I'm really, like, what I really like about this is that the coverage has held up. Yes, there's a little bit of creasing, setting it with a powder, definitely recommend doing that. That has really improved the appearance under the eyes, and like I said earlier, got rid of that, like, tacky feeling, and I just don't like that feeling, but the fact that the coverage is still there 10 hours later... That is one of the things that I really do look for in a concealer. So between the Maracuja and the Shape Tape, both of those accomplish that. Like I said, I give the edge to the Maracuja because there was really no creasing, but this is not a bad second place. However, trailing well behind the other two is this one, the Hydro Sealer. I just did not like this one. It just was too emollient under the eyes like it just creased really rapidly it didn't hold up throughout the day it had less coverage to begin with but even if I set that aside just the wear time in general was not up to par and so this is one that I don't recommend I, I just really didn't like the way that it wore the way that it looked it really did crease so I, I can't recommend this one but the other two I don't think you can go wrong with either of those so there we have it guys those are the three offerings from Tarte that at least are available in the mini size I know they do have one other on the Sephora website but I just wanted to focus on these ones and the fact that they're available in minis with the full shade range available for all three I think is fantastic because it's just a lower price point and also these concealers last forever especially this Maracuja one this one was the one where it was just like one dot and it got it done I'm impressed with that it's going to last forever so I think that this is going to be around for quite some time in my collection, especially given how many I have. I mean, there's that. But an everyday typical consumer as well, you're not going to be using a ton of concealer. Go for the mini. I, I recommend that. Anyways, there we have it. I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in my next one. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.